time for a country can live with economic disparity. A country can survive with racial disparity, but a country cannot survive with cultural disparity, especially when there are so many glaring examples. One does not have to be a social scientist to see that our country is seething right now. And unless we have the will to arrest the problem, something cataclysmic is going to happen and all of us will regret it in the years to come. May I challenge us? Where we live in a country where more than 70% of those who are a part of our educational enterprise are the children of illegal immigrants. We have a problem that needs to be addressed. Brethren and sisters, there is a humane way, yes. There is a need for labor force, yes. But we are in an age where in a particular school in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, children of illegal immigrants lift up a particular flag and dare Bahamian students to pass that way because they declare that is their territory. This is what we are up against. And unless somebody is brave enough to say that something has to be done, we will regret what happens for after all, we we fought for the Bahamas for Bahamians and after 57 years there ought to be a Bahamian people who are prepared to take charge of and to decree and declare that while we celebrate what others have done and while we sympathize with the plight of others we do not do so at our own peril for we cannot cut off our nose to spite